this is disgusting. Hello everyone. We're going to just do a little jumping exercise today. McAllister's not jumped. It's been months and months. He last went to a competition in April and then I've had the whole palaver with Billy's foot and there's just not been any time, brain capacity or money left to go and do any shows. And I kind of just feel like I want to have a jump on him, get back into the swing of things, because I do miss it. And I've really just been working on his flat work for a while. So I want to put a little exercise up. Nothing fancy, it's literally going to be four jumps, working on different reins on cantering, because he's much stronger now on his right rein than his left rein, which is kind of the reverse of where it was last year. So I've obviously overcompensated on his right rein a little bit too much. So we're going to set up. A nice little loopy loopy exercise, I think. The menage may not be quite big enough to accomplish what I want to accomplish, but we'll try. The worst we can be is wrong. That being said, I'm gonna move some jumps around and put some new ones in and then we'll see where we are. And if I think there's enough room to get a very gangly X-Race horse around it, nicely, stylishly. I'm now really sweaty and covered in cobwebs, but we have set up the jumps. I don't think for a second he's going to find this easy, which is why they're so small. They're literally like 70 centimetres because that's not what this is about. It's about getting on the correct, hello crazy Hagrid here. It's about getting on the correct canter lead, doing it in a nice relaxed manner. We don't want him panicking or getting excited. It's just meant to be really chilled flowing because it's not it looks very simple but i don't think it will ride simple let's say we start over this one we'll jump this so we'll land give ourselves as much room as possible to then make the turn back to this one with the wall wings the wall wings go over this one again you almost want to be landing you want to be landing on the right rein but going in a left direction to give you time to turn right. Over the blue. Again, you want to land on the left rein. Well, again, but opposite. You want to land on the left rein, but pointed as if you're going right. So we'll get him thinking, I think go that way give ourselves plenty of room for the turn and then left turn onto this one and hopefully finish going straight that's the plan that's the plan anyway that's what we're doing I think it's a nice exercise I've not done it with him before we'll just have to see how it goes will be positive but also realistic I do think he's going to struggle but we'll see we'll see come on you and we get an audience to watch us whilst we're jumping so these are Isla's horses Bolero who you've probably seen in my videos Innie who's how old are you now she's three or four I don't know I don't quite know and hope who absolutely hates other horses and sometimes people. Typical mare, typical mare. I'll tell you a secret, these aren't even breeches, these are just leggings off Amazon because I got so annoyed with my Premier Equine breeches that I did a whole TikTok about whinging about them. I just thought I wanted to be comfortable. I just put these leggings on. They're not grippy, I'm gonna slide all over the place but it will add to the drama. What's he doing? What are you doing? Where's Dill? We're not digging up the menage. Isla does not want us to do that. Dilly, come on. I don't know what's happened, but it's gone really hot. So I'm gonna have to go in the house and just get a drink of water. Maybe change my top. Cause I'm just so hot. I'm getting irritable. And I always get aggy when I'm too warm. I mean, I'm not being like, oh, I'm quirky. I get so angsty when I'm hot because everybody does, don't they? But I mean, look how glowy I am. I just, we need to be calm today. And right now I'm wound up because I'm too hot. The sky is just full of cloud. The sun's barely made an appearance yet today. 
but it's so warm all of a sudden crazy behavior i might just put the dogs in the house as well so that they're not running around whilst it's warm when i'm jumping i'm a new woman and you know when you're suddenly in a better mood and you think that was silly why was i getting so annoyed just because i was too hot but i'm in a very religious t-shirt now um by religious i mean it's covered in holes it's due for the bin but um we just haven't got to that stage yet because i think oh one more wear so um this could be its final final outing i doubt it i doubt it anyway let's get back to where we were right we're in the middle of what has been a very dry few weeks Where is, where are you getting that from? Where does he find it? What is this? How have you got it up here? I do feel very whingy today. I am in a moany mood. Um, and I think I overlooked a, um, a weather condition that I hadn't realized. You know how stroppy I get when it's windy? Well, it is a little bit windy today, and I think that's why I'm just a little bit like ratty. I'm ratty to say the least. And the horses are getting so fed up with all the flies and everything. And it's like, come on, if we're gonna be plagued with like really muggy weather, loads of flies, at least let it be sunny. Like what is this gray misery? Do you know what I mean? I need to take some deep breaths, like... You know, let the stresses go because this jumping exercise is just meant to be nice and light-hearted. I think he's gonna find it quite tricky, as I've said. But really, he doesn't need me being a black cloud of doom on top of him, so I'm gonna sort my attitude out, get it in check, and we'll, um, Go on with it. Don't look at my gloves. I need new, like, I need new gloves. I need a new t shirt. I need a new hat. I have actually ordered a new hat. I'll get some new gloves very soon. We're keeping it real on this channel. We're not perfect. Everything's a mess. We're falling apart at the seams. Well, we've just completed all four fences. We knocked the first down, so I've put it into like a, where is it, a steep cross, just to give him more motivation to clear it. Um, I mean, it was not stylish. We broke into trot a few times. I felt like I was not riding my best, but we did get around the whole course. But literally, I mean, this is a 20 by 40 arena. He's an ex-race horse that you can't really collect up and get him back on his hocks. 
like on Billy, I think although he's bigger, this would be easier because you can cut, you can really reduce his canter stride. Whereas McAllister, he's only, he's just turned five. He's an ex racehorse. He's not been doing this for very long, and he's kind of got a canter at a rhythm, and it's not that adjustable. So hopefully one day it will come. But for now, he's trying. He is trying. Like I think a lot of horses would have stopped, but he's a good boy. sort of regretting starting this now like I knew it was going to be tricky but just when you walk things out you know it's going to be tight but then as soon as you're on a horse you just think this is impossible like it's so much worse than you think it's going to be like I just feel like I'm landing and the fence is there and I've got to turn but I've already missed the turn and there's just not enough time and not enough space and I don't want to piss him off because he is a trier and I think if I keep asking him to do things that he's just not capable of doing at the moment we're gonna get sour grapes so i don't like giving it up but i think i'm gonna have one more go each way i might even trot it um i'm probably not gonna film it because i just want to focus on getting it done and riding and not worrying about where my phone's balanced and if it's gonna fall off the fence um so i'm probably just gonna do it once more each way possibly in trot and then depending on how it goes, I'm either gonna set up another jump somewhere else or move the jumps so that they're easier just to end him on a good note, feeling like he can do it. Cause I don't want him to feel like, I just don't want him to feel like he can't do it. And then he gets negative about it. Like you've got to finish on a high. So yes, this has been a very difficult exercise. I wouldn't recommend this if you're on a big horse, a young horse in a small arena. If I was in a 60 by 40 and you could afford to have much more space between the jumps, I think it'd be a different story. I wouldn't recommend it unless you've got a very adjustable horse or a big arena. I have neither. I think we'll just go for a nice little oxer and um, finish it. I've done it really square so we can jump it both directions. That pole is annoying me as well, but I couldn't be bothered to go and get another blue and red one. So we're just going to deal. We'll do that and then we'll finish my boy. Perfect timing because it's just starting to rain. Honey, I can't really reach from there. Actually, maybe I could. Oh, oh no! Sally! <laughs> Back up. Back. Yeah. Um, oh. We're done just in time for the rain to start. So I'm going to leave Callie just loose walking around if he wants to and i've got the lovely job of putting all the jumps away 